Peace be with you. I want to welcome you and thank you for joining me today in this service in which we give thanks for and in which we remember those we love and who are with us no longer. <clears throat> I know that some of you are here to remember someone recently lost and for whom grief is raw. Some of you are here to remember someone you lost years ago, but the memories are vivid and you can look back with thankfulness tinged with sadness. Some are here because it's good to remember the people of our past, those who shaped us. But whatever your reason, we are all here gathered in the presence of God to remember someone we love and someone for whom we have been immensely grateful because our lives merged with theirs and we walked together for a while. In this service, we'll gather with some music, listen to some words which I hope will help you, pray and remember our loved ones by name. There will be an opportunity to light a candle at home if you wish to do that. And I will do so just before I begin to read the names of those who are special to us. First of all, some music to perhaps help us settle. This is a setting by Rutter, John Rutter of the Prayer of St Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Sung by the choir of St Martin and in the fields and provided to us by the Church of England. Some words in which we invite God to come among us. 
Come among us, God, you who cast the planets into space and cradle the sparrow in her nest. Come, God, and meet us here. Come among us, God, you who bless the poor and the broken, and stand by the sad and the strong. Come, God, and meet us here. Come among us, God, you who dance in the silence and shine in the darkness. Come, God, and meet us here. God of time and space, in your hands you hold all that you have made. You breathe life into all creation, and without you there is no life, for our lives are hidden in you. As we gather to remember those we love, people of your creating, help us to believe that none are forgotten by you, and grant us the comfort of your peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. I'm going to read to you some words from one of the Psalms in the Bible. <clears throat> psalm number 139. A psalm is simply a song or a poem from the Bible written hundreds of years ago. The Psalms reflect a whole range of human emotion from anger to joy and everything in between. Psalm 139 is about the writer's understanding of God. Someone later added a subtitle to the psalm, The Inescapable God. So to the words of Psalm 139. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your right hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, and the light around me become night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day, for darkness is as light to you. For it was you who formed my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made, Wonderful are your works, that I know very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, in intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my unformed substance. I speak in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We all want to be known, don't we? Not particularly in an egotistical way, but we were created to be connected to each other, to live in community one with another, to share life and to share love and laughter and tears and pain and grief. And one of the purposes today is to remember loved ones, that they might remain known that they might be recognised as people with whom we shared our lives. I'm sitting in a church in Cherry Willingham, surrounded by a churchyard containing the graves and headstones on which names are inscribed. Names are important because they hold the person in our memory, 
and with a name comes many memories and feelings. There have been rare occasions during the course of my ministry that I have conducted a funeral for someone apparently unknown. Someone who has perhaps died on the street, homeless, apparently friendless. It is in those moments that this psalm speaks volumes. These words. For it was you who formed my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, that I know very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, int intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my unformed substance. The truth for Christians is that the God who created the vastness of the universe knows each one of us by name, was there at our beginning and knows us intimately sees us through life and into death, and holds us in his presence. Life for Christians is not a few years and then ended. Life goes on into eternity, an eternity for which we were created. For Christians, God is truly inescapable, and that, in my experience, is a wonderful thing. So, as we read names, I'm mindful that the name of each person encapsulates a life, embodies a person that was and will remain unique, with all their gifts of character, the joys and sorrows shared, the pain, and at times the irritations, the love and the fun, all are unique and held within the name of the person you remember. So as we do that now, you may want to light a candle with me as we remember not just names, but the uniqueness and specialness of the person or persons you want to remember today. At the end of the time in which I've read names, I will leave a silence. There may be other names and people that you want to remember today. To love someone is to risk the pain of parting. Not to love is never to have lived, and grief is the honouring of our love. So together today we remember our loved ones. Tony Morris Stuart Curtis Eric and Dorothy Pearson, Stan and Joyce Curtis, David Mackinder, Jean Harris and Michael Prescott, Marion Lenton, Margaret Penny, Fiona Holston, George Ned Baxter, Valerie Ward, David Douglas Ward, Doreen Elizabeth Chamberlain, Elizabeth Ann Beckett, Margaret and Cyril Holden, Anne El Elizabeth Driver, Philip Shaw Frederick Slight, Joan Pamela Slight, John Franklin Shaw, Roger Towes, Brenda Smith, 
John Mason, Peter Charles George Bolston, Elizabeth Alice Dennett, Kenneth Arthur Dennett, Brenda Ryan, Christine Davison, David Bradley, Dorothy Blatherwick, Kenneth and Melise Graham, sorry, Kenneth and Melise Grantham, Peter Harvey, Barry Canner, Annie Canner, Herbert Canner, Audrey Baines, Walter Baines, John Baines, Adam Philip Frederick Roberts, Maureen Donison, Margaret Vivash, George Vivash, Barry Ward, Joy Blood, Maureen Donison, Arnold Vout, Susan Ann Wood, Frank Neville Johnson, Des Codd, John Albert Parrott, Roland Lott, Mary Cook, James Cook, Elaine Butler, Tony Butler, Marion and Ronald Beecham. Shall we be still for a moment to remember those we have loved? On the death of the beloved. A blessing by John O'Donoghue. Though we need to weep your loss, you dwell in that safe place in our hearts where no storm or night or pain can reach you. Your love was like the dawn, brightening over our lives awakening beneath the dark a further adventure of colour. The sound of your voice found for us a new music that brightened everything. Whatever you unfolded in your gaze quickened in the joy of its being. You placed smiles like old flowers on the altar of the heart. Your mind always sparkled with wonder at things. Though your days here were brief, your spirit was alive, awake, complete. We look towards each other no longer from the old distance of our names. Now you dwell inside the river, rhythm of breath, as close to us as we are to ourselves. Though we cannot see you with outward eyes, we know our soul's gaze is upon your face, smiling back at us from within everything to which we bring our best refinement. Let us not look for you only in memory, where we would grow lonely without you. You would want us to find you in presence, beside us when beauty brightens, when kindness glows and music echoes eternal tones. When orchids brighten the earth, darkest winter has turned to spring. May this dark grief flower with hope in every heart that loves you. May you continue to inspire us to enter each day with a generous heart, 
to serve the call of courage and love until we see your beautiful face again in that land where there is no more separation, where all tears will be wiped from our mind and where we will never lose you again. Shall we pray? We remember, Lord, the slenderness of the thread which separates life from death and the suddenness with which it can be broken. Help us to remember that on both sides of that division we are surrounded by your love. Persuade our hearts that when our dear ones die, neither we nor they are parted from you. In you may we find peace and in you be united with them in the body of Christ who has burst the bonds of death and is alive forevermore, our Saviour and theirs forever. We give thanks for those we remember today, for all that they meant to us, their example, their love and their friendship, what they taught us and what they shared with us. Lord, we give you thanks. We remember all those who have gone before us in the faith, those who kept faith in times of darkness, those who inspired us, those who encouraged us and kept us going. Lord, we give you thanks. All our laughter, all our sadness, safe now in God's hands. All our anger, all our gladness, safe now in God's hands. All our stories, all our memories, safe now in God's hands. Those we remember, those we love, safe now in God's hands. We ask for the love of God and the protection of angels, the presence of Jesus and the prayers of his people, the power of the Spirit and the strong hands of friends to bless us on life's journey. You might wish to join me in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you found this time helpful. And please know that you continue to be prayed for as the year progresses. A final prayer of blessing. We pray that you will have the blessing of being consoled. May you know in your soul that there is no need to be afraid. When your time comes, may you be given every blessing and shelter that you need. May there be a beautiful welcome for you in the home that you are going to. You are not going somewhere strange. You are going back to the home that you never left. May you have a wonderful urgency to live your life to the full. May you live compassionately and creatively and transfigure everything that is negative within you. May you be peaceful and happy and in the presence of those who really care for you. May your going be sheltered and your welcome assured. And may your soul smile in the embrace of family and friends. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you and everyone you love and everyone you pray for 
today and always. Amen. I'm going to leave you with another piece of music from John Rutter. Deep peace of the running wave to you. Deep peace of the flowing air to you. Deep peace of the quiet earth to you. Deep peace of the shining stars to you. Deep peace of the gentle night to you. Moon and stars pour out their healing light on you. Deep peace of Christ, of Christ the light of the world to you, deep peace of Christ to you. Mm -hmm.